All right, guys, so I'm going to do a walk around on my beautiful car and tell you guys about it. So pretty much if you look at it, the color is kind of settled in in the front, you know, and I do like the gap. You know, two fingers wouldn't fit, one finger will fit, and I didn't want to slam the car, you know what I'm saying? Because I do drive the car daily, and I want and I want to have the best out of it, be able to drive it every day, and be able to track it and do all kinds of cool stuff to it. So I'm doing a cool walk around around the car for you guys. As you guys can see, there's more camera here than it is on the other side. And the rears did settle in pretty good, which I do like the right height. I mean, if you stand from far away, you can see it sits low like this instead of like this which i don't mind because the front wheel drive car is going to be able to wait in the front then in the rear so obviously it's going to kind of go in a little weird position that's gabby's uh uh gti right there that thing is beautiful man she, she has it on bags and everything that's why it looks like that it's not on cold over so you guys don't get excited for that but yeah this setup is looking good man this car is just coming along i just got my max Stan design rear balance which is going to go on soon and also my bm spec wing extension is going to go on soon and a couple other little you know i mean appearance package that's gonna go on the car i'm making my own front splitter and stuff like that you know what i mean so other than that i'm gonna end the video here and i hope you guys did enjoy this video i hope you guys love this video just please give me the like and share the share the video with your friends and just comment leave, leave a comment something like that you know what i mean with interior there's nothing really done to the car it's still stock interior which eventually i do i will come to the interior by changing the seats and going for other crazy cool stuff but for now we're just keeping the cars as it is and thank you guys i'll catch you guys another time all right boys this is your boy Durga, and i'm back here with another content another video for you guys so today's video what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be talking about my callover that I just purchased and I just installed. If you haven't seen that video yet, make sure you go check it out. Make sure you like, subscribe, share the video with your friends, family, whatever you want to do with them. So pretty much what I'm going to be doing today is that I'm going to be driving around in my Focus SD and do an honest opinion on my callover I just installed and talk about it. What kind of callovers did I install, you might ask. I got the K-Sport callovers. I'm going to turn traction control off and I'm going to show you guys a corner I'm going to go through with the callovers. I want to show you guys what the callovers does to the car first before I even go ahead and talk about it. So let's go through this corner. It's pretty sharp, so. As you guys can see, the, the callover just takes the corners like crazy. Like thanks to Madison for the callovers. She got me for my birthday, but anyways, let's get straight to the video and just talk about it. So. Oh my God, this thing is insane. Like, look at this. Like the body roll is minimum. So you may ask what kind of callovers I, I got for my Ford Focus SD, and I'm gonna answer that. My callover I got for my Focus SD is the case sport callover, which it's not the really stiff ones. It's straightable, trackable, autocross, anything you wanna do with it, but you can't actually like go to the track and try to expect good numbers with these callovers. Like, they're street callovers. They're not made for the track. They're a little stiff, they're a little soft too. So as you can see, the car bounces around when I go through bumps and stuff like that which is fine i mean i, I kind of expected that out before but before me and madison gave me these callovers i made sure i did research i made sure i checked everything on the internet I did a lot of you know what i'm saying research and try to gain as much information as i could from these callovers and one thing that i realized going from having springs on any car that i've ever owned to callovers is that callovers are way stiffer than spring obviously springs you can't you cannot adjust springs but you can get shocks that you can adjust with the springs which i never did that i always just got springs h and r springs and just throw them on a, on a stock strut you know and drive it around and it felt really good it felt really solid but just upgrading from that to callovers is a huge difference especially if you never own any callovers there's another sd oh, i thought it was an sd but especially if you've never owned any kind of callovers you're gonna actually love this callovers and 
I, only thing that scares me is that I'm not used to it as much, you know? So when I'm going through corners or when I'm going through bombs, you know what I'm saying? It kind of scares me. I'm like, oh my God, I'm about to scrape, you feel me? And that just happened right now. I didn't scrape, but you know, I kind of bounced around a little bit. Some Somebody told me to make it a little stiffer than it is. And I didn't want to go with stiffer coilovers because, you know, I feel like, oh, uh, you heard that? <laughs> but yeah, so pretty much what I'm saying is that I like these coilovers. They're the best option you could ever get. I mean, for the, it's like $900 plus tax so you're looking about eleven hundred one thousand dollars for the callovers and uh you can go you have so many options with the call you can go fortune fortune auto you can go bc callovers which a lot of boys with the s the uh, sts and rs go for or you can go with uh k sport which is friendly street streetable you know fortune auto are pretty nice i mean the only reason why i like fortune auto is my friend works there and i was devin.st1 that's his Instagram and also, you know, call, uh, the four callovers are like fully customizable. So you can own your callovers for like 10 years and 10 years from now, you can go back and be like, hey, I want you to rebuild me another callover, you know? I want you to, guys to rebuild it and they'll do that for you at your own expenses. But so I like these callovers. They, sit, they make the car sit low, it looks aggressive, it looks beautiful. I like how it sits. I mean, I do enjoy this car regardless of what it is and how it drives and what it comes with. It's a fun car, 2.0 turbocharged car that, I mean, coming from an NA my whole life and driving all kinds of big NA cars and stuff like that to a turbocharged car, it definitely feels, you definitely feel the difference. The body roll is way less. Like, uh, if this car was in here, I would have probably took this corner a little faster for you guys. See what I'm saying? But the only one thing that I hate about these callovers is that this car's a front wheel drive. So if you're going through corners and you're going through a corner like crazy and you know what I mean, just you you give it a throttle and just let go of the throttle, the rear end is just gonna whip out and yeah, you'll be in serious trouble. You don't want that. You know what I mean? But so yeah, this is my honest opinion on my callovers that I got for my birthday. I mean, after one week of driving it on them and after one week of going hard and going slow and daily driving them for one week i think i do like them i do enjoy them the only problem is i have more negative camber on the right side than on the left side which i do expect that from callovers you're never gonna get a perfect fitment i'm gonna figure that that one out i don't know i'm trying to find a shop that would know what you're doing and would do something proper for you, you know what i'm saying so that's what my goal is take it a shop that would do, know what you're doing and do it the proper way and get it done the proper way for me so that's all about it i'm gonna talk about today so i'm gonna give more updates on the callovers as time goes on you know this is the first week i've ever owned callovers in my life and i'm real excited and stoked about it it, it just gives the car a really aggressive look and it makes the car drive really aggressive and ever since i installed the callovers i definitely feel a difference in like drivability you know daily uh driving in daily and stuff like that which i do enjoy but i'm gonna give more updates like i said on the car so you guys stay tuned to the channel make sure you like subscribe share the video with your friends and family don't forget to hit the like button man this channel has been growing gradually and slowly and we're getting up there you know so if you want to be part of the family if you want to join us grow and do better on the channel just like subscribe share the video with your friends and your family you know what i mean and help the channel go so right now i'm gonna end the video here if you guys did enjoy it Please do what I just said like five, five or 20 times already. Just like, subscribe, share the video with your friends. This is a beautiful Miata going right there, but catch you guys later.